Welcome to Graham Games. My name is Graham. This is a game. Today we're looking at Alchemy Emporium, a alchemy based, obviously, Dodoy, a shopkeeper management style game, which are usually worth a look. They can be quite fun to just kind of mess around with. Plus, we got a great cat and crow friend. Uh, it's amazing. Doing too many tasks, activities in a week is never convenient. The risk of intoxication is very high, and a penalty is applied when too many consecutive tastings are made. <laughs> Just sipping, sipping a little bit of your your own supply there, getting high on the own supply. Mixing up all kinds of rando potions, and you're just gonna start chugging them back and be like, I hope I did this right. That's uh, you gotta get yourself an assistant, that's what they're for. Dis disposable. <laughs> well, I'll be gruel then. Graham, the cruel alchemy shop owner who abuses his employees. That's that's what it's gonna be. My story is quite long. I guess I'll, I guess I'll read through it with a little skip in the corner there in case no one cares. The orphanage was not a suitable place for children, which was ironic, all things considered. The problem was mostly due to the fact so many different species were looked after. After all, it is a well-known fact human children have different needs than imp cubs or skeleton babies. Who would have thought? Skeletons have babies that grow up to be adult skeletons? It's not just... A baby that died? I know that's horrific, that's so bad, but like, really? What are the, what are the skeletons boning with to create babies? None of it makes sense. I don't believe you. One, one day an alchemist came to visit the orphanage. He was looking for a, a young crow to train as an apprentice. Unfortunately for him, there wasn't even a trace of young crows. Finally, he had to settle on a young girl. Her small, slender figure certainly couldn't compete with a strong beak and the ability to fly. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, okay, this is, uh, there's, we're going beyond sexism here. It's like not a matter of feeling that one gender is superior to the other. We're saying that women aren't as good as crows? Ooh, gruel doesn't even begin. To sum up how twisted that is. But the alchemist was in a hurry and took her in anyway. Days began to go by and the girl grew up. One week matched about a year, according to the alchemist's calculations. Apparently, the treatment was working. The most interesting aspect was that together with the purely physical growth, what was now a teenager had internalized personal experiences as if she had really lived all those years. After a few months, the girl had become a woman, a good alchemist, albeit a beginner, and luckily her aging had stopped. You did that? Was that part of your potions? Why? What caused the rapid aging? What a per highly particular... Why not just have this character be an adult? What was the point of explaining all that? <laughs> what purpose? Then, especially if they specify that it's not even like a child in an adult's mind. It's like, no, it's an adult in an adult body. Whoa! That's not... that's nothing. You didn't make an interesting character. Then the time came for the old alchemist to carry out his plan. He locked himself in his laboratory and asked not to be disturbed. Great plan. After a few days, the young woman, who wouldn't hear any noises coming from the lab, worried about the fate of her mentor, so she decided to enter his sanctum. The only thing she found waiting for her were a strange instrument completely torn apart and the alchemist's robes resting on the ground. Nothing more. Some plan, hey? As the days went by, the alchemist's absence did not go unnoticed. The customer's questions became more and more insistent, culminating in the arrival of several guards to search the store. It was rumored that it was the young woman herself who had made the alchemist disappear. On the very same night, you decide to leave, heading as far away as possible. Your plan is to open an emporium to earn a living, keeping out of trouble. I thought we were the wizard. We were the young girl, or are we none of them? <laughs> it talks about everyone in the third person. I'm guessing we're the young girl, because she's the only one left alive. <laughs> Kalduin Village, we got the population. The supplier replenishment rate affects the upgrade rate. Tourists, 
taxes, helper turnover, locality, and the weather. I have I have options. So let's go. I, I'm guessing it's like a difficulty thing. You'll start at the simplest thing. Low demand. You don't have to go for as crazy of a supply. Order of Revealed Secrets, the Brotherhood, Subterfuge, the Sun, the Moon. There's quite a few choices. It affects your initial money. Taste. Ability to identify the labels during tasting. Mmm. Can't wait to start tasting these toxins. Indicates how refined the taste is to identify the labels in the mixtures and your ability to, to learn. Your tasting and your learning ability are, oh, no, 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 it's, they're, they're always two, but it's different things. We have all sorts of different stuff going on here. Initial money, bonus perks, and ingredients, reputation. Again, I'll just start with the most basic one. And select the partner. Cheryl Thant, which is a very difficult last name. It's not good. Shroop, Shroopy. That one's a little bit, oh, because it's supposed to be Dwight. Shroot. So is this supposed to be Cheryl from Archer? And then this is Dwight from The Office. Our Daniel. Our Daniel? Our Daniel. I'm trying to i I'm trying to figure out who this would be or who like who they're named after. Vignette Rock Moss. Terry Meldon. Lagret, which that might be from Vikings. Mr. Hyde, Mr. Bubbles, Mrs. Connolly, Jack Barr. And we're back, back around. Well, obviously, I'm going to take Mr. Shroop. That's just hilarious. I'm, I'm all for that. And uh, yeah, Mr. Poop. He's going to be, he's going to be great. Negotiation supply, mixture toxicity, uh, and the chances of getting intoxicated. Well, I want to. You know what? I'm probably okay. I'm okay if we get intoxicated now and again. Everything should probably have at least one. And then from there, I want to be able to learn well. Negotiating is good. Supplying seems like it would probably be good. Tasting. Sales skills. Uh, I definitely want to have good sales skills. And there we go. That's how I'm going to determine my final setup. There's a lot of setup that went into this game. <laughs> Hopefully the UI has some like intuitiveness to it. We can probably do the tutorial. We're planning out our week. You can have multiple helpers, you just start with the one. It looks like in the tutorial we have like Papa Smurf. You can buy additional tools that help with upgrading, managing helpers. Ooh, shady business. <laughs> after the fifth week, you can really start messing around and like sending people after your competitors and things like that. That's kind of fun. There's morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Initially, you cannot work at night, but it eventually is available to you. There are town events like festivals or dragon hunts and so you might want to brew certain potions ahead of time to, to coincide with those events. A display of items and ingredients you have of available and so you drag around your activities. So you, you would first buy things then you would mix things and this guy can't help with mixing. He's like not skilled enough, but he can go purchase things for us. Ah, you could save a preset and then you would be able to quickly alter it. So that's really handy. That was it. The tutorial was uh, very simple relative to the amount of work it seems like I have to do. So the helpers are totally separate from the assistant to the regional alchemist. That would be myself. We could have Agadar the Bearer, Jabberwock the Dragon, Reginald the Apprentice, Obtex the Imp. I like the idea of having an imp working in here with me, and that's entirely what I'm basing this off of. That was, that's it. That's all I, that's all I have in mind. So I'm going to purchase things. I'm going to mix them up. A personal improvement. I'll save that for like midweek. At some point, I should probably work to better myself. You know, maybe that feels like more of like an evening activity. The end of the day, midweek, recenter yourself. You know, that's that's what we're going for. I say taste things at the end of the night, just in case it messes you up a little bit. And, you know, you need to, I don't know, go to bed. <laughs> maybe you package things. Uh, you could uh, try to sell things. Right? Or does that mean running a sale? Not selling things, but like running a sale. Am I? I'm like filling things up at the bottom there. 
Oh, I there's probably only a certain amount of activities I can do in a week. Maybe I'm supposed to, to spread things out a little bit. So I'll manage the shop, and then perhaps I'll, I'll purchase and mix yet again. Maybe I'll even taste. And, uh, I don't know. I, I, I guess I'm totally just guessing at what should be done, when, where, how. And, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sell things again. Yeah? And where can you help? You can help specifically with personal improvement? <laughs> I'll get you to help with shop management. What do we think about that? And now I'll save. I'll save the preset. No, I'll save my own preset. <laughs> There's here's what the game thinks I should do. No, no, no. I'm sticking with my own <laughs> week because I guarantee I nailed it. Probably, right? So let's give it a go. I'm ready. First things first. Select the merchant you want to trade with. That's a, a great suggestion. Oh, this, there's different tutorials for the different parts of the game here. I wasn't totally out of the woods there. Ingredients and characteristics are generated procedurally. Every game could be different. That's quite interesting and, and not a part of this that I, I at all would have expected. This is showing how much room I have available in the cart so I could take things in and out of it before it maxes out. So it's nearly max. So right now I have nothing. <laughs> and there's a, a few different types of ingredients. There's transformables, semi-complete uh, ingredients. There's a, there's a few different things. So to, to begin with, uh, I have nothing to sell so I can go straight to the buy phase. And I'm just going to like load up on a nice spread of different ingredients because I barely really know exactly what I'll be needing. So there, two of everything. That's that's my uh, starting point here. So I, I, I've, I've loaded up. There was only the one merchant for now. Eventually there will be more. Every mixing attempt takes time. The ring here is time. It's interesting how the ring always serves a purpose and it's like always a part of the UI. That's the flexible way that's done is nice. Transformables are used three at a time and they need specific tools. They're cheaper, so there's a small economic advantage. Double click to create two identical potions. Hmm, uh, that's simple, that, I, I think that makes sense. Well, basically I think I just have to start slapping things together. We'll, we'll stick some salt in there, some sand, and some bronze. Three powders. Surely that'll create something, right? Failed to mix. This error occurs when an ingredient is not suitable for mixing or due to a random error during the mixing process. I'm going to assume my stupid way of choosing things is what got in the way. So we'll switch out to some cinnabar, which I guess itself looks like another mound. Mixing was successful. We will name it mixture one, We'll hopefully figure something out in the tasting process. Uh, we could stick some wax, mix that with some sand, and uh, some Saturn Mercury. Total failure. <laughs> Didn't go well. Chuck some coral in there, maybe. Successful. Mixture two. And then at that point, we've pretty much maxed out anything. And I don't think you can't, like, you can't add three of those together so i suppose we're done we're done with the mixing phase came up with two things so first little bit here it does track for you like what all went into it taste give her give her a little slurp i assume the tutorial not necessary <laughs> yellow label detected i think this label is reveal lies i have nothing else to add to my notes so it would tell, like, someone, it's like a truth serum, I guess? I'm gonna get you to taste it. Oh, I thought you could taste it once more. All right, taste this other one, swimming. <laughs> Will it be good for me to taste all these potions? Hmm. All right, well, the label means less than I thought it would. Maybe I need the tutorial. I thought it would be more helpful. Yellow is uncertain. You'll have to taste it again at some point. 
and green means it's confirmed and correct. And there's a trash label because as you start learning the different ingredients, you'll know right away if something was a, a wrong mistasting and you can just junk it immediately. So I think that's I think that's all I can do for the tasting so far. I don't know what the hell swimming means. What what good is that? Inexpensive packaging, suitable for less affluent customers. I will sure. You know what? Uh, I'll buy it up, package things away, ready to be sold. No matter how stupid or nonsense the they actually seem to be. Sir, you look like you could use a nice spoonful of swimming. Yes? You have the counter, like a, a shelves, and the warehouse. And so you want to serve the customers straight out of the counter, but you can do other steps. Oh, they have specific requests of what they're looking for, how many times they visited the store, and uh, yeah, just a quick things about patients. I will select the reveals lies, even though I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's what it does. You can decide whether to explain the potion in detail or entertain him with some interesting anecdote. Both of these possibilities will consume time, but improve the customer's opinion of your store. You can also decide whether to issue the receipt or not. By pointing the mouse on these elements, you'll have additional information. Well, that's, I, I like that as a mechanic. So I could D, it's, it's not a slider. I thought it was a slider. It's either just on or off, but you're saving time. And then at that point you just say, hey, buddy, take your potion. What do you, what do you want to, what do you want a story? Go to the local store, story emporium. That's not what we do here. Sales aren't guaranteed. You got to factor in reputation, quality of packaging. And he just decided, mm, no, sorry. I, I don't think I'm going to go for it today. He didn't like the packaging. We have a more expensive thing that also has reveal lies. We don't want to lose the customer. Give him a small discount, then click propose. So first, first guy, what, 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 what can I help you with here today, sir? Don't have any potions. My mistake. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't done anything good. Oh, I, did I send away the wrong person? Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Lady, hopefully you're looking for some swimming. I'm stunned. I can't believe this is happening. I'll exp I'll explain the potion to you. Sure. I gotta build up some reputation here. No one else is gonna come looking for a swimming potion today, so I <laughs> just chuck it. Chuck it out. Catch! <laughs> I, uh, I kind of figure, you know what? Why not? Try and try and beef up the sales a little bit. Here, I'm just trying to push things through. They accepted the offer, but were not satisfied with the potion. And so that tells us that we were potentially wrong about it. Maybe it doesn't reveal lies. Oh, oh, I have no extra stock. Well then, sorry everyone, I guess I'm closing up for the day. Shop management, but I, you know, no potions tasted and packaged to be transferred. Oh, so that would be moving things from like the warehouse to your shelves, I guess. And so uh, just skipping that one. Not going to come up anytime soon, I guess. And personal improvement. Do I have any books? Select a book to read. A handbook of the perfect alchemist. Mixing, workday, taste. I'll, I'll uh, start cruising on through. Activate modifiers while reading. The weather... The weather helps. Helpers and perks, they do nothing. Basic points. Look at all that. Look at everything we just learned. Geniuses. I'll read some more. Stay stay doubling down on that same book. Why not? Uh, I've gone back around to purchasing. Probably good that I had left that in that particular order. I have nothing to sell. I do have stuff to sell. I'm going to hang on to it. I'll hang on to that stuff, I guess. Why not? I'm going to go straight to the buy. No point stopping and selling. Uh, basically, I need you guys to sell me, like, everything you have. How about that? That's that's where I'm at right now. I realize I'm maxing... Oh, it's tough. I'm maxing out my carts, and I do... I need some of everything, basically. Ah, oh, you're making this tricky on me. I don't want to have to weigh options just just give me everything jeez well i i guess i've completed that transaction but i i guess i had locked in that merchant that's the only 
I couldn't buy from all of them in one go around. Do I have to fully... Okay, discovered formulas. Good, I can check that. This is a thing I'm able to, to revisit. So I'm going to brew this one again, because it's mixture one. We know that that's a thing. You know what? Let's brew it twice even. I think that's reasonable. Wax, coral, and mercury. That was its own thing. I'm going to brew that twice. And I'm going to spend the rest of it on like, uh, on, I'm just going to gamble on some stuff. New, failed to mix, used all my time, didn't work out. I have no new discoveries, <laughs> but at least I can, I can do some new sips. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm fairly certain actually that the reveal lies is wrong because that one guy wasn't happy. So I want to do a second sip. Damn it. I could not determine whether the label I had assumed is correct is actually correct. Rumor has it that an alchemist transformed into an imp after tasting a potion. Oh, yikes. Don't want that. Swimming. They seemed happy with that. What other properties you got? Changelding. Chang Dingle. Great. That's uh, exactly what I hoped it would end up being. Secretly, deep down, I, I hoped that's what I would... What would come of that. What? Oh. The language changed at some point. I mean, that makes a lot more sense, but it uh, it really does leave me kind of stuck. Oh, service activities can't, uh, nothing to be done there, I guess. And now there's a fire? That seems bad. I think I don't want my shop to be on fire. I, I assume that will negatively affect service. It's still fire? Like, what is happening? What are these, like, bonuses? Oh, there's, there's events and things that enhance different bonuses. That's neat. But unfortunately, if I can't switch back to English, I'm kind of just stuck. English. I want English, please. Well, that really just, just screws me horribly. I can't do any presets because of the, my, my Monday is just burnt. I'm gonna purchase twice to really load up on stuff. I'll do some reading. I'm gonna spend some serious time mixing, tasting. Uh, I, do you know what? I'll purchase once more. I'll mix and I'll taste again. I'm guessing I won't have to do any shop management yet. Maybe service activities. I don't know. I'm probably overloading my week. And uh, you can help with my personal improvement, I guess? I'll try a different uh, merchant this time. Why not? He sells the same stuff. Oh, I can't even use the transformables, so I have a tool. I knew that. It's like worth keeping in mind. So I won't even bother investing in any of that just yet. What is the fires? My entire week ended. There's a wedding coming up. <laughs> Uh, what happened? Is this game horribly broken? Hmm. Well then. Yeah, dang. Well, I don't f feel like trying this numerous more times just for that to continually keep coming up and, and not being a real option. That's where you can buy your different tools. You've acquired all the tools at that tier at the next level. You'd be able to buy new things. That's cool. That lets you use those transformable ingredients so it's a little more flexible. You have that starting money. In my mind, it's worth doing early on. But, like, we can try. We can try and schedule another week and, you know, see if anything works out for us. I, I don't know. So now we might as well buy a bunch of transformable ingredients since we have the tools to, to do something with it. I'm just buying things willy-nilly. I have no idea. Let's get to mixing. We have we have what we need to make use of transformable ingredients. It uses them in threes. I just remembered that, so you know. A little dicey whether or not this will actually work or anything will happen for us here. Let's try with the coral instead. Maybe unknown. Hey, we got ourselves something new. 
So I think let's brew it twice because we can, then you'd be able to, I think you'd be able to taste both. And, and then maybe you'd learn a little bit extra about it. Let's try swapping some things around. This is the, a mixture that we already know we can make. And I should try and make, I should try and make that one once more. Cause I need to, I need to learn more about that one. The, uh, I, I don't know what's going on with that. Obviously that's an Italian word. I'm, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm very low on, on green ingredients. Yo, did discover something new though. And have enough to do it one more time. And presumably I can manage these at some point and change the names. Cause it seems stupid to pick the name when you don't know what the deal is with it yet. I guess you could name it something informative that had to do with the ingredients you chose. That's, that would be like one option. Is this a thing? Uh, you don't remember. You remember trying to mix it and it failing. You can make a, a quick mixture too. I, you don't remember doing this one. Failure, but who knows? Maybe it was an unknown error. It didn't work that time either. Definitely confirmed, not gonna happen. I wanna taste like everything. It said it failed the reveal lies. Failure, again, it didn't, it didn't work, damn it. I wish I hadn't, like, bothered then. I'm gonna confirm whether Chagdriel... Nope, st that one sticks through. Diplomacy and Reveal Lies. So I got two Reveal Lies potions now. Maybe one is slightly, like, better than the other. I guess it's two different ways of making the same thing. And we queued up another tasting. So I guess I can, I can try and get a second property out of this one. Frenzy. That should be my main target, I guess. Try and get the yellow labels. And now, intoxicated. I drank too many potions. I'm all messed up now. That's fine. I, I'm, I'm okay with it. I, the standard, the standard costs notably more. It's like quite expensive. I'll stick the rest of those in, in cheapo. Oh God, I didn't, I didn't distribute that very well. And managing things up at the counter. Yeah, we want we want like everything we have available up at the counter. So it's worth worth doing all that. That's done, right? I don't have to like confirm. And we're ready. Alright. Language issues, things are breaking. I'm gonna leave my recorded warning in place of the game breaking, because it clearly has issues that might put people off. Diplomacy. I, uh, where are my potions? Did I screw this up entirely? I, like, I see, I'll postpone it for a second, but I, like, my, my menu is, like, broken. Right when I say the game isn't entirely broken, I, uh, I can't actually run my shop. I can't sell anything. So... Hey, there, something came up, and look, he's, maybe they're asking for things I don't have, but I don't think that was entirely true. I'll entertain him. I'll explain it. I'll explain what Chagdriel is. They requested a poison, but the potion doesn't have enough toxicity to be considered a poison. Well, I'm sorry. I tried my best to fake my way out of it. Apparently, you can't explain something you know nothing about. Well, I, I, I guess this all came back around. You know what? You could have you can have the more expensive one. What do you think about that? They accepted it, but were not satisfied with the potion. Is that once again the one that I don't know if it actually does reveal? Are they not satisfied because it doesn't do what they needed it to do? Like, what's the part they're not satisfied about? Was my entertainment not high enough? I had a potion. Maybe I already sold it, so you know. Send send away. I don't think it's gonna happen Fantasy maybe I didn't have a fantasy potion. I thought Maybe I did yeah Like I oh, maybe I didn't bottle it That's I think what happened. I think I didn't bottle it properly. So I didn't actually have anything for them Gee dang, that's my own poor planning. I suppose you could do some major reading and still, still not even quite enough to level up. 
Well, there's two functioning full weeks of the game, as well as some additional time of, like, really genuinely struggling and things starting on fire and languages changing, and it's, uh, I can't really recommend it because of all that. I wouldn't want to sign anyone up for, like, a difficult experience where you're fighting against the game like that. You can keep an eye on it. Hopefully it's, they can apply the necessary updates, as is interesting not gonna recommend it thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you again soon